Hi. Hello. Welcome. Thank you so much. Wow, this is amazing. Thanks. Welcome it. to the uh, Henry Holland Studio. Oh my gosh, can you show me around? Yeah, of course. This, I also really like this kitchen. I know we're not here to look at the kitchen, but this is so nice. Thanks. That was put in by somebody that isn't me. <laughs> it's so beautiful. So this is a lot of our finished pieces, but everything gets made here in yeah. the studio in Hackney by myself and this incredible group of women. Hello! Emily and Colleen and Sinead in the little booth. We hand build everything in here, so we yeah. don't use any wheels or anything. It's all hand built. Every single thing is hand built. Every single thing that is sold anywhere in the world is made in this room. So it's busy. Yeah. So we make everything on these tables and then everything gets dried on these shelves, which don't look particularly appealing, but if you sort of have a look in there, we're working on a new project at the moment, scented candles that'll be out at the end of the year. And then once everything's bone dry. <laughs> Hello in there, are you okay? <laughs> this is our American Psycho murder booth. So should we need to kill you, we can clean it down nice and quick. What is going on? Like, seriously, um, what's So in doing? there we have to sand everything back. So let okay. me show you an example. So this is a piece before it's been sanded. Yeah. So as you make it, the pattern gets a little bit blurry and mm -hmm. a little bit smudged. And then when you sand it, you sand it back and it looks like this. How did you know this? So I found this technique on YouTube. Such a Gen Z. <laughs> So, Sinead sands every single piece down? No. We all sand. Okay. I say we. I've, I've promoted myself. <laughs> um, okay, so once it's sanded, it goes here. So once it's sanded, it goes here. So this is some of the pieces here that are waiting to go into the kilns. Yeah. We fire in two different programs. So because of the colours of the clay, they need to be fired at different temperatures. Mm -hmm. So then once everything is ready and sanded, then it goes into the kiln for the first time. Yeah. So these are our two kilns. This is Janice. Hi, Janice. This is Stan. Hi, Stan. Stan's on a bit of a... Having a break. Stan's having a break. Sure. Wait, he's waiting for a few new elements. Like you and sanding. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So then once it's been fired for the first time, it comes out and it looks like this. So oh, okay. it kind of feels like it's not porous anymore and it's kind of, it's hard. Yeah. Then it gets glazed. So everything that we do here is a clear glaze, but the glaze that we use when it goes on, it's this putrid green. So hang on, this, this so, so is... that comes out looking like that, so it disappears. The colour just goes. Okay, that would really freak me out. Yeah, it's weird. And then when you put it back into Janice... So then when it goes back in like this, it comes out looking like this. That's amazing. Yeah. So this was what you started with. These are your kind of signature stripes, as it were. Yes. So this is like a technique, a Japanese technique called Nerokomi, where you wedge together different colours of clay mm -hmm. and you create patterns using the clay rather than using glaze. And why did you start off with this as your first collection? Well, because I started by painting patterns with glaze, but it looked like a three-year-old had done it and it didn't feel like... I'm so used to printing on fabric. Yeah. I think it was kind of my background and my training in fashion that I was used to getting more distinctive patterns, more graphic designs. And so when I tried to execute that with glaze, it just felt too painterly, too kind of watercolory. It's really nice. And also it's so distinctively you, which is hard to do. So I think for ceramics, these are quite bold. They're very playful. They have a really strong sense of personality, which mm. I guess is how I would always describe my clothes. Yeah, yeah. Like I used to describe my clothes as kind of borderline obnoxious. And I guess you could do the same for my dinner plate. Once they've been fired twice in Janice or in Stan, then this is where everything that is ready to get shipped out either directly to our customers yeah. or our glass at customers or our stores from all over the world, this is where we hold the stock and it's ready to go. So this is just some of the pieces finished off and ready to be used. So nice. How did you develop the patterns then? Yeah, this one we kind of call sort of marble slash wiggle. Um, so this one is just about creating different layers of the clay. It's a technique called wedging, which is essentially just bashing it against the table. Mm. It creates much more organic forms and it's much more informal. And then I wanted to create something that was checkerboard. So this technique is actually really intensely more difficult because mm. it's much more meticulous and you have to measure everything out. So there's some being made here. Right, okay. So you have to measure out squares and then place them together 
and keep it all very neat and very tidy to create the checkerboard pattern. So we're already like causing supply issues in the UK. So there was a time when we were waiting for colour clay and I was calling Spain, telling them to dig some more up. <laughs> Get digging. <laughs> I was like, I could get on a ferry with a spade. Okay, so what are we having on Glossette? So on Glossette, we're gonna give like a, a full selection of pieces that we've got. So there's gonna be some like, some bowls Love in the this. original marble. This one is our pasta bowl. Mm. We're definitely gonna give you the full range of mugs. We'll take that, thank yeah, you, sure. Take that, yeah. You are paying for this, right? No, no, no. I'm gonna. I'm yeah. just taking these samples home to yeah. just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just test. do some content. A, yeah, a, t a test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is our breakfast bowl. Oh, yeah. So you've got mm -hmm. like the full colour spectrum. We'll take that one. And then I think we're definitely gonna do a combination of yeah. of patterns. So mm -hmm. this is our loopy mug there. Love so that. Good top top tip with this. Mm. You hold it like that as you drink it. Very useful. Really? Yeah. Oh, I have, have my morning coffee in that one. Yeah. Um, and then definitely some of the planters, so that will all be coming very soon to glass out. Okay. See, so, yeah, I'm doing your job for you. You just, you can go. Are you sure you don't want me to take them home and look after them? No, you them? can go. Okay, fine. <laughs> Bye.